Hi my rose petals, today I have another haul, I know I just uploaded my drugstore haul or like what's new with the drugstore video, but today I wanted to film my Sephora portion and I have quite a few goodies and also some MAC, but I wanted to film this because I'm dying to try these products out and I'm so anal about like not using products that I want to film in a haul. Like, I want everything to be in its package. One product, I lost the packaging, and then another product I actually already used. But for the most part, everything is still intact. Everything's in its box. Everything's just been chilling in a corner of my room, and I'm dying to try these products out and use them because that's the fun of it. Like, buying makeup is fun, but, like, trying makeup out for the first time and seeing, like, miracles happen is just so much more fun. So if you'd like to see a tutorial on this look, I definitely filmed it for you guys. Thumbs up this video so I can know that you guys want to see that. It's the look that I had on in my last vlog, going to the Urban Decay event. This is the look that I had on. It's really, really like glam and it's typically what I wear to go to events. So I'm going to get started with what I got in store and I'm just going to pull things out. The first product that I picked up was the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I used to use this a lot. In the beginning of the year, in the beginning of 2015. So you guys know I use this Laura Mercier translucent powder. I use the translucent powder underneath my eyes and to bake so that my face doesn't crease and it stays matte. But then this baby, the Secret Brighten Powder, I use on top just to really brighten up under the eye. I usually apply this right on top of any powder that I have underneath or anywhere that I want to like brighten up. So usually my chin underneath my eyes and on my forehead just a little bit. I also used to use it instead of a translucent powder. So once I'm done with my concealer, if I'm in a pinch or I'm in a rush, I just apply this. I don't bake, but I just kind of apply it with the Real Techniques setting brush and I'm good to go and it sets it so it doesn't crease but it also brightens. Now if I'm going to an event, I don't bake with this because it will give you a little bit more flashback, like it'll look a little too white underneath the eyes if you don't dust it off well. This one's great because it really just brightens up, especially if you're filming or just like for every day, you really wanna look awake and bright. This one is a lot smaller than the translucent powder, the bigger one, so I go through these a lot faster. What I did with my other one of this is that I kept it and so when I went to Florida, I put some of my translucent powder into the empty container. This way I don't have to bring that whole translucent powder and I can just take two of these little mini ones. It just saves a lot of space in your makeup bag and you can put any other loose powder. It could be a bronzer, it could be a highlight, it could be anything. You can use empty containers for other products just to save space in your luggage so you can bring more makeup. Next up, I picked up the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Recovery Complex 2 and this is for all skin types and it says it's their most comprehensive anti-aging serum ever. Exclusive repair technology reduce major signs of visible aging. This is so small and it was so expensive. I think this was like $62. I've never tried this so I don't know how I'm gonna like it and when using a serum you don't have to use too much so usually like one or two drops of a serum is enough so I'm gonna see how I like this this was one fluid ounce and again I think this was like $62 very pricey I wanted to step up my anti-aging skincare regimen because the only other anti-aging skincare item that I have is by Murad but I wanted to try the Estee Lauder because I hear so many good things about Estee Lauder skincare so yeah Next up, I picked up the Sephora Luminizing Drops in Ultra Light. When I was walking around Sephora, I saw like a whole highlight section. It was like a stand full of highlights. I know a lot of people like stray away from Sephora brand products, but they're actually really good. I've loved Sephora lip gloss, lipsticks. I used to love their bronzer and highlights, so I feel like I need to go back because Sephora brand items are so inexpensive. They're like drugstore prices because the drugstore has definitely gone up in price. I mean, average drugstore is like $14 now, and I think this was like $14 bucks or $15, so I instantly just picked it up. This one is the more like champagne-esque color, and I don't think it's that light in shade. It's like a nice champagne gold. But do you see that dewiness? I remember putting a little bit of this on on my actual cheekbones and I fell in love. It gave me instant dewiness. For my skin tone, this one was perfect. But I now want to pick up the other two just because it was inexpensive and I love luminizing anything. I love luminizing drops. You can use this mixed in with your foundation or literally just on your cheekbones as a highlight base. I like to glow pretty extreme so I always use a creamy base underneath my powder highlight so they can really stick 
really stay and it just stands out a lot more. So I'm excited to try this out to see how a uh, powder highlight looks on top. I know Luster Lux, she's like the only other person that I've seen talk about this. She actually tried a powder highlight on top and she loved it. So when I watched her video, I was like, yes, girl, we think alike because we both purchased this. I don't like to say anyone's my favorite, but Katie's my favorite. Next up, I picked up the Givenchy Powder Premiere translucent powder and this is in the shade universal nude I only own one other Givenchy makeup item and it is a face powder I actually haven't used it in a while now that I think about it I should use that because I love that one it's like a duo powder if you watch my videos you've seen me use it but I was watching Casey and Miss Liz Heart, I believe that's her YouTube name, and they both raved about this Givenchy powder like crazy. Casey has oily skin, but I'm pretty sure Liz has dry skin, so they both raved about it, so that really intrigued me. I have dry, normal skin, and sometimes the Laura Mercier translucent powder is a little too drying on the whole face. I like it underneath my eyes, but I have to wisp it away really fast or else it looks very dry, especially with the winter. It's just getting insane in New York. Even reading the reviews online, everyone was saying that this is such an amazing powder. So you just get like a little Givenchy powder puff and then a translucent powder. I love little details like this. Instead of just having a regular sifter with just like holes and traditional little dots, it has the logo, so I'm a sucker for things like that. I'll let you guys know how this goes. I remember reading that this gives flashback on a review on Sephora, so I'll let you guys know. I could do a review if you'd like and actually like take pictures and show you guys if it has flashback or not, but it's just a translucent finish loose powder, and it says it's mattifying, so usually I stay away from mattifying, but Liz talked about this and said that it wasn't too drying and that she prefers it over any other translucent loose powder because it doesn't make her skin look dry. Givenchy is one of those brands that is so simple and it's just so classy looking. I couldn't resist this in the store, so. I know tons of you are into drugstore makeup and I know a lot of you guys are into high-end makeup, so I wanna just have like an equal balance here on my channel. I love collecting high-end makeup. It just looks so pretty on the vanity. Once in a while, it's nice to just treat yourself to something that looks so pretty and works well. So sometimes high-end makeup doesn't work well and sometimes drugstore doesn't work well. So it's really all about testing and that's my job is to test everything out and let you guys know what works and what doesn't. So I'll be the one to waste all my monies. Next up is another skincare item and this is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. A lot of makeup artists rave about this and say it's a must have in a kit so I picked it up and this has shea butter, vitamins C and E. I'm actually attending a Bobbi Brown masterclass in February so I'm super excited. I love Bobbi Brown, I love her artistry, I love her work and I love her line. I've read that some people use this as a primer and some people use it as a moisturizer. I was thinking of using it as kind of both and testing it out to see what works better. The winter here in New York is getting pretty bad so my skin is definitely showing that and some days I just wake up and my skin is so dehydrated. So I think this would be perfect to really just nurture my skin and fill it with like vitamins and nutrients. I love details like this, like the logo on the cap and it just looks so gorgeous. I love jars like this. This is their vitamin and rich face base so it does kind of have a scent of like orange which I don't really mind I mean usually scents go away so I'm excited to try this and I'm definitely gonna let you guys know how that works all of these products when I use them and get ready with me videos I always let you guys know how it's going and what I liked and what I don't like about it so I know I don't do enough reviews like full-blown reviews on my channel but I'm going to start Next up, I picked up two Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundations, one in the shade Rattan, and then this one is in Dawn. I was using Tawny back in the day, but that's a little too tan for me, and then I started using Rattan, which is this one. In store, I couldn't choose between Rattan and Dawn. They look exactly the same on camera, but they're not. I'll have to try these on my face, like with a full face of makeup. I have a whole review on the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I'm so excited to use this again, because this was like my holy, holy grail for so long. Like 2015, this was my baby so again I have a whole video explaining how it looks the finish who it's best for uh, they upped the foundation range shade also so they do have more colors which is awesome I feel like rattan has more of a yellow tone and then dawn is a little bit more neutral so a lot of the SLR double wear foundations run yellow so you have to try them on in store but I'm gonna try these out again because I miss using them I've never used the shade dawn so I'm excited to try that and see like which one looks better on my skin tone. This is so bad, I forgot I picked this up, but this is the Smashbox Bronze Lights Bronzer in Warm Matte. You guys know that I'm obsessed with the Smashbox Suntan Matte Bronzer. I've hit 
serious, serious, serious pan on this one. This was like my 2015 bronzer, hands down. But they discontinued it, so I don't want to use it anymore because it's my baby. So I decided to pick up their newer version of this bronzer. And the shade is a little different. This one's warm matte, where this one was just called suntan matte. One of you guys actually DM'd me on Instagram saying that I should have picked up the darker one, but when I read that, I had already bought all this stuff. It does look a bit light for my skin tone, but it feels super buttery soft. Like, I just lightly swatched it, and it feels really nice. I feel like products break easier when they have this little button that you have to push to open it, but besides that, I do love the packaging, and the consistency feels really, really buttery soft, which is perfect for a bronzer, because you guys know I'm a bronzer freak. Like, I go to town with bronzer, sometimes a little too much. If your bronzer is looking a little dark, you just throw on a turtleneck and boom, you're good to go. No one will know that you're not really that tan. I don't know, I'm just a bronzer freak. I do admit that I do go a little ham on the bronzer, but that's okay because I like it like that. Next up is a repurchase, and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pro Palette. And I use this in my freelancing kit. I use this on all of my clients. You literally get every single eyebrow shade that you can possibly imagine from blonde all the way to granite. So you have auburn, chocolate, blonde, taupe, soft brown, medium brown. If you hit major pan on one, you could just take it out and pop in a new one of that shade. So I think that's pretty awesome because it is like refillable. And yeah, I really love this and it's a must have. Like I recommend if you freelance, you have to get this because it is just so easy once you have this any client you get you know you're gonna have their brow color I remember when I first started freelancing I struggled with this because I had my personal brow colors but if someone with red hair or blonde hair came in and they wanted the blonde or red brows I didn't have that so this has all types of different tones I couldn't find it anywhere in store so I just purchased mine online and it is so so worth it I think it was like $86 but I'm telling you you get so much use out of this even if you're not a freelance makeup artist, if you're into wigs or you just like changing your hair color a lot, this is also really, really worth it. Or if you're just someone who likes to experiment with different brows, if you haven't found like your brown or your right tone for brows, this is a little pricey for that, but if you want to splurge, I highly suggest getting this palette. You get so much use out of it. And you could also use these as eyeshadows. I feel like they're great for contours of the eyes. And I actually saw someone use the blonde shape as a face contour. So I'm like really intrigued by that and I want to try it out. But this is so versatile. You could use it on the eyes. You could use it on the face apparently. And most importantly, you could use it on the brows. Next up, we have two foundation sticks. And the first one is by Lancome. And this is the Taint Idol Ultra Makeup Stick in the shade 320 Bisque W. So this is their newest foundation and it's a foundation stick. I love my Makeup Forever HD sticks, but sometimes I feel like if I don't set it right, I get way too dewy and it tends to come off because it's very, very hydrating. So this one is supposed to be like a mattifying foundation in a stick. I am so obsessed with my Lancome foundation, so I figured I'd pick this up so I can compare them. Again, I got mine in the shade Bisque W. I don't really remember how it looked when I wore this. I remember wearing it once. So I'm going to try it again. As I'm rubbing it into my hands, it feels really silky. And although this is a stick form of the Taint Isol Ultra, which is very matte, the fact that it's in a stick form might change the consistency and it might change the formulation. So I will definitely let you guys know if this one compares to the other foundations, the liquid forms of them. And then the other foundation stick that I picked up is from Bobbi Brown, and this is in the shade Chestnut. But I didn't pick it up for a foundation, I picked it up to contour with. I love watching Jenny Doe or Jenny Do on Instagram. Her transformations on her clients are amazing. I love the way she contours and she's always, always using this. And she uses the shade Chestnut, so I figured I would give it a try. Bobbi Brown just has a really classic look to her makeup and her packaging. So it just looks like a traditional old school makeup tube. And then this is the shade, it's called Chestnut. She usually uses a concealer brush with this and actually like either X's out or dots or like kind of maps out the contours with a brush rather than just applying it straight from the tube onto the face. And that's probably because she uses it for herself and for her clients so it's just a lot more sanitary to use a brush. Her contour and her client's contour always blends out so nicely so I'm excited to try that. I also picked up the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. I used to use Eden back in the day when it didn't come in this packaging. Now it's in this convenient tube. Before it used to be like a wand and you couldn't get enough product out. And then when you were done with it, you'd still feel like you had a lot of product in the tube because it couldn't get all the way in. So this is a lot more convenient. Eden is pretty close to my natural skin tone, so it's pretty flesh toned on me. 
And I remember it really making my eyeshadows pop and stand out and just staying matte all day without any creasing. So I'm excited to try this again because I haven't worn it in so long. I feel like it's just bringing back old memories. The last thing that I ordered was this Fido or Fido Botanical Straightening Balm. And I saw someone on Instagram post this and I'm so easily influenced. Like if I see someone rave about something who normally doesn't rave about products on Instagram, I'm a sucker. I actually used this yesterday before blow drying my hair and I didn't really like round brush it. I just kind of like blow dry it. I do have a keratin treatment in my hair but sometimes my hair still comes out a little bit frizzy if I don't blow dry it. Like if I just air dry it and straighten it. It doesn't feel as like silky soft. If you look up the reviews on this, everyone raves about it. So I'm so happy that I picked that up because I do see what they're saying. It made my hair so much quicker to blow dry. It just feels a lot better and a lot healthier. So really happy that I picked this up. I'm all about hair products. So this one wasn't too expensive because it's a smaller one. I believe it was under $20. I redeemed 500 points online for this Bobbi Brown skincare must-haves. So this is a Beauty Insider perk. I wasted 500 points, which kind of killed me, but again, I want to try more Bobbi Brown items. It comes with a hydrating eye cream, a hydrating face cream, and then the soothing cleansing oil, and then a sample of a pore perfector primer. I always use eye cream on my clients, so I figured I would pick this up to put in my kit when I'm actually doing like a bridal party because they're just a lot smaller. I'm really just trying to minimize what I bring with me so that my shoulders don't hurt as bad and I think it was worth it. 500 points but you get like really good skincare, cleansing oil, face cream, eye cream and a sample of a primer. My friend Dinah, I'll leave her YouTube down below, told me about these and she was like raving about them. She told me to use a code for it. This is the Ole Henriksen Power Peel Professional Spa Grade microdermabrasion and acid peel system. So it's three steps. You have an almond polish, a lemon strip, and then a mild comfort chamomile step. So I'm really excited to try this because she was just raving about it and I'm all about exfoliating and I've never actually gotten like a microdermabrasion treatment done. So I'm excited to try this. It says it's like professional spa grade. So it's like a little spa night at home. After I take off my makeup tonight, I'll probably use this and I'll let you guys know how I like it. If I do like it, I'll definitely purchase it because I'm all about that skincare right now. I'll probably let you guys know how I feel about it on Snapchat, so follow me on Snapchat if you aren't. And this was free, so why not? Pretty sure this is a cleansing oil and then the Lancome Genifique, just some samples to try out. Because again, I'm all about that skincare right now. I just want to make my skin as flawless as possible. And then lastly, I just got like a deluxe sample of the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. The next three items were on a different trip and they were actually gifts from my boyfriend, which was really awesome and sweet. And definitely unexpected. The first item was the Coco Chanel Madame as well perfume. I have been wanting this perfume for so long. I actually mentioned this in my other video and you guys were like, what perfume is it? And it's just Coco Madame as well. I feel like everyone has this but me. I guess he figured he would just get it for me because every time we walk into Sephora, I like gravitate towards this one and put it on. I'm a huge perfume collector. I didn't even notice that I didn't mention my new little setup in the back. He actually set that up for me too. But the first little section are all perfumes. I'm going to be doing a perfume update. I'm just waiting on getting one more perfume that it's really, really like on my list. But this one is just such a classic scent. Like I am so excited to finally have this. This smells so rich. So expensive. It smells just like Barney's or Bergdorf, Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom. It smells like the perfume section. It smells so pretty, so girly. So rich. That's like really how I could describe it. It smells so divine. This is the 3.4 fluid ounce, which is the largest that it comes in. And I'm so happy it's the largest because I feel like that's going to be like my everyday perfume. I want it to be my signature scent, although I don't think I'll ever have a signature scent because I'm just all over the place with perfumes. I'm obsessed with perfumes. Next up, he got me another item that was always on my wish list, but I never seem to get. And it's the Dior Skin Air Flash Foundation. And I chose the shade 300 Beige. And this is just a spray foundation from Dior. You guys always rave about it and a lot of people rave about it on YouTube. So I'm so happy to have it. I think I'm going to spray it on my face and then blend it with a beauty blender or a stippling brush. So I'm so happy to have this finally in my collection. I love the Dior Nude Foundation, so I'm pretty sure I'll love that one. And lastly, he got me the Kat Von D High Voltage Eye Primer. Again, I've heard so many people talk about this. And I'm really into eye primers and eye bases because I want to find the ultimate one. Sometimes my shadows tend to just come off a little bit, like if I don't use enough of the paint pot or if I don't set my face. So I really want to find a better eye primer. So 
This is the one from Kat Von D. Kat Von D is known for like high intensity coverage and colors, so I think her eye primer would be bomb. So I will let you guys know how it works. So those are the items that I picked up at Sephora. Next, I picked up some items from MAC. I think this pouch is so cute. So I just picked up a Fix Plus. I ran out of mine, so I just needed a new one. And then I picked up a Pro Longwear Paint Pot, which I actually already use. And this is in the shade Soft Ochre. It's the eye primer that I use almost every single time I do my makeup. There's Painterly and then there's Soft Ochre. Painterly is a bit more beige neutral like with a little bit of a pink hint and this one's the more yellow tone and it's an eye base you can use it to neutralize any coloring that you have on your eyelids or just to prime your lids for shadow then I did back to MAC so I will do a whole video on back to MAC if you guys want because I feel like I need to explain it better in a different video like a full video but I back to MAC 12 items so I got two free items so the first item that I picked was the lipstick in the color sis I still am such a huge, huge sucker for MAC lipsticks. I've never had this color in my collection, but I've heard so many people talk about it. So this is the shade Sis. This looks exactly like my skin tone, but just a pinch darker. I know this is like an odd color, but I picked it up because I wanted to do like an ombre lip with like a regular nude and then Sis in the middle. That's going to make your lips look a lot bigger, a lot plumpier. Is that a word? Plumper. And with my other Back to Mac, I got a lip gloss, and this is an Oyster Girl. And this is such a classic and such a favorite for so many people. I've actually never owned Oyster Girl. You can throw this over any lipstick color because it's just like a clear, pearlescent, see-through, but still a little shiny kind of color. It makes your lips look a lot fuller and shinier, so I'm all about that. I still love MAC lip products. I know everyone's on this like liquid lipstick kick but I like glossy lips I don't know about you but I like them so and technically those two items were free because I back to Mac and I got those and lastly for this haul I picked up two items at Macy's I'm so excited I went to Macy's at Queen Center Mall and I spoke to Susan over the phone and I forgot who helped me at the store but they were the biggest sweethearts ever I forgot who helped me at the counter but Susan on the phone held these for me. She just called me right now to thank me for purchasing these and to invite me to an event. So these are the new Dior Nude Air Glowing Gardens Illuminating Powders. They came out with two shades and I originally just went in for one, but I walked out with both because that's how outstanding the service was. Like I have a huge smile on my face because just looking back, it was just so nice. It's sad that I'm so happy about the service because I feel like all counters should have really pleasant people working at them, but it's usually not the case, so I'm really, really happy with how they treated me, and not just because I was buying stuff. They were just really, really sweet. They didn't push me to buy both, but it was so true. She was showing me them, and she was like, honestly, I'm buying both because I can't pick. And I'm like, girl, you understand my struggle, you know? It comes with this little mini brush that just says CD on the bottom, and then this is the packaging. So this one is 001, which is glowing pink. This packaging is just to die for me. It's so pretty. It's so Dior. And this is what the pink one looks like. I'm so excited. I don't even want to swatch it right now because it's just too gorgeous. And I want to take like better pictures of it. So that's the pink one. They had testers out and I tried both of them on that day. And I couldn't choose because they were just so pretty. I tried like the pink on one side and the nude on the other. The pink might look good on me and it might suit my skin tone. But I picked up the other one not only because I'm a collector. But because I do freelance. So it's always good to have other options. So this one is the nude. And this is 002. These are limited edition and they're part of the Glowing Gardens collection. I obviously picked up the illuminators from the collection because... I'm a huge, huge highlight collector, so pick those up, and I don't even want to use them, but I am going to use them because I think it's silly to just have a product sitting there. I actually want to use it, and I want to enjoy it, so I will be using them, just not right now. I'm just going to go ahead and try one on because it's killing me. Try on the pink for you guys. I'm using the Morphe M310 brush, and I'm just going to like ever so slightly touch the compact and just apply some highlight. Yes, Hansi, come through. Come through, highlight, come through. Do you see that? Do you guys see that? So gorgeous. This is out of control. Do I even need to say anything? I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Yes. 
These were kind of pricey, but honestly, I just had to get both. I just had to. I couldn't resist. So that concludes my haul. I know it was a long one, and I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because I'm so excited for these products. I know it was like a lot of money. I did have some Sephora gift cards left over from Christmas, and... I hit 100,000 on Instagram, so it was a little excuse for me to just go a little extra ham. I'm also trying to upload at least four to five times a week, so I wanted to get more products just to try out new things and not just have the same old, same old. Let me know if you guys have certain days that you'd like me to upload on or certain times, like a set schedule, or do you guys just like when I post randomly? I really value your input, so definitely let me know. Don't forget, I know sometimes I ask you guys to tell me stuff down in the comments, and you don't tell me, so please don't forget to tell me. I will be announcing the winners to the 200K giveaway and also to the Yeezys in my next video and on Instagram, so look out for that. Also, don't forget to like this video if you do want to see a tutorial. This shirt is from Windsor and my ring is from Aldo. Thank you for watching and for supporting. I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Hi, my rose. <coughs> ah, I can't talk today. But I wanted to step my... But I and I saw... Who was it? What is this? Oh, hi, how are you? So I'm like, wait a minute. I've never owned oyster. Oh, I really don't know what this is. This is just tissue paper.